So I just remember like going on MySpace a lot and thinking like, no one gets what I'm doing, which is a mechanism when no one likes what you're doing. <laughs> Do you ever see Hook? That's the first thing I think of. She also does not appear to age. It's like she hit this moment in her life and is just cresting. First time I, first big tour I ever did in the UK, I opened for Paramore. I like Paramore a lot. Yeah, when I see this picture, I just think of like, wide-eyed watching this like a great show happen. MySpace. First thing that comes to mind is top eight. But it also brings me back to like a whole period in my life of when I was making records, when MySpace was really happening and just feeling very um, misunderstood. That hasn't really stopped, but specifically misunderstood then. It was, it was, it was really kind of out there on my own at that point. So I just remember like going on MySpace a lot and thinking like, no one gets what I'm doing. <laughs> Which is a mechanism when no one likes what you're doing. <laughs> The new Star Wars stuff is interesting to me because I was such a big Star Wars fan of the original stuff when I was a kid and collected all the toys. So um, I think it's really interesting, but I don't, I can't connect to it the same way because I'm just sort of like, that's my Star Wars and you know, et cetera. But I do have a nice stamp collection at home. Broad City, the best. I love Broad City. Nothing else to say. I really love Broad City. I always am fascinated by how small that guitar is. So that's the first thing that comes to mind. And just like, such an appreciation for someone who plays to audiences that big as one person. That whole time period, things were moving so quickly. And we shot this video, and then all of a sudden that song started to happen, and then... Actually kind of the feeling I have right now of being very jet-lagged and feeling very like heavy and slow reminds me a lot of fun days because we were just moving around so much, and it was my first time. I've gotten good now going international and, and moving around like crazy, but at that time I was like, didn't really understand what was going on. And I don't know where that suit is. I should find that suit. I remember being concerned because that's a nice guitar. It's from the 60s and there was, we were, they were like throwing cake at one point and I was like, I'm, I'll do anything for the video, but also, no. And then years later, Bleachers was in a movie called Hello, My Name is Doris and we shot it on the same stage. This I like. That's very nice. Was that a float? And I see Trump in the distance looking real evil and like a real piece of shit. Weird times, man. But you know, when anything great is trying to emerge, there's always gonna be this weird racist old guard that's pushing against it. <laughs> Tina and Amy hosting some award show probably. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Particularly I liked Tina's stuff on the recent eating cake thing on the SNL Weekend Update. And I love Amy Poehler as the mother in Mean Girls. It's the first thing that comes to mind. I really love Pills and Potions. I don't, I don't think that song got it to do. I think her voice sounds beautiful. And I think that that hook, just kind of about sedating yourself is really beautiful. I love that, I love that, 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 that hook. <laughs>